Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you a strategy you can use to defeat the expert mode Queen Bee. I'm not really a fan of the expert mode version of the Queen Bee. It seems a little unnecessarily difficult. However, it does follow a very predictable pattern. When it's first summoned, it'll drift towards the player, and then, when in range, it'll start charging at the player. At the beginning, it'll only charge a few times before changing attack. Later, it'll increase the number of charges and decrease the time between them. Its next attack will be to unleash a series of poison stingers. They are quite hard to avoid and deal a large amount of damage. As if this wasn't enough, they also deal a small amount of damage over time, which can be a massive pain seeing as the fight usually lasts quite a long time, and you can have this effect for most of the duration of the fight. One good thing about this attack is that she only fires stingers when you're in her line of sight. As you can see here, I've added a small wooden barrier on top of my arena to occasionally interrupt her line of sight. The last attack she does is to send out a swarm of mini bee minions. This is usually the easiest part of the fight, because the queen bee sits idle and the bees she produces are very easy to kill. Unfortunately though, if you don't manage to kill all the bees as they spawn, they stick around and can make her other attacks harder to deal with. I recommend using a weapon with piercing, such as a bow with jester arrows. This will enable you to take out multiple bees as they spawn, and to deal consistent damage to the queen bee during the attack. Another bonus to using Jester Arrows is that they are not affected by gravity, which makes aiming a fair amount easier. I used 282 arrows for this fight, which requires just over 14 fallen stars to produce. I highly encourage you to defeat the Eye of Cthulhu and Brain of Cthulhu before tackling the Queen Bee. They are far easier, and the items they drop will make this fight a lot easier. I am using Crimson Armor, a Tendon Bow, and the Shield of Cthulhu, which drops from the Expert Mode Eye of Cthulhu. The reason I'm using the Shield of Cthulhu and why it's so good, is that if timed correctly, the dash it provides can temporarily block damage from enemies. Where this makes the most difference is when the Queen Bee charges. You'll see me dash just before I'm hit, cancelling any damage, and also dealing a nice amount of damage to the bee. This will become harder and harder to pull off as the Queen Bee gets faster. When you gather the resources necessary for the abomination, which is used to spawn the Queen Bee, make sure to grab a few buckets of honey. Submerging yourself in honey gives a small boost to health regeneration, which, coupled with a campfire and heart lantern, will give you a nice amount of environmental regeneration. The Crimson Armor's life regeneration also stacks with these effects. The only accessory I'm using, other than the shield, are Hermes boots. I recommend them for every pre-hard mode boss fight, because the extra mobility they provide is essential when it comes to dodging attacks. To keep the loadout more general, I'm not using any prefixes. However, if you have any accessories that boost your defense, feel free to experiment with using lower tier armor, weapons, and less health. The potions I've used for this fight are Iron Skin, Regeneration, Swiftness, Archery, and Thorns. The first three are easy to make, and the Archery and Thorns potions can be found in chests if you don't want to make them yourself. Remember, this fight lasts longer than the duration of a few potions, so you'll need to reapply the buff during the fight. Towards the end of the fight, the queen bee will make a last stand and will begin firing out more stingers than could possibly fit inside her body. If you can survive this, you can survive anything. There you have it. That's how you kill the Queen Bee. I hope you found this useful.